feeling right on that day either, but no excuses can be made as now it's FRQ's time to shine here. Athena playing that backside. They have some idea that he's towards here, Asurai. And now here comes into full push, but the retake is already underway. Zumba finding a double, dancing around with a Zumba. And Esperanza, Esperanza finding a double kill for himself. Now have to take some damage just to even win out one of these duels. Spots out one, the smokes, and this is the only thing that separates them. But Global, okay, they're going to back away. They're going to go straight into Garage. Only good for the one-for-one -one trade. They're taking a bit of damage, but this kind of this kind of containment, this kind of breath that Global are taking before they take the deep plunge is allowing it to take down members of FRQ one after the other. The only caveat now is that there is a crossfire, and Athena, as well as Zumba, is doing some work. Down to left to go, so known as Lightning Fast, Riding Light. So this little peek out by Esperanza, he might not even know that SK Rossi is right here in this angle, and... That's as Esperanza uses his utilities to get that information. The peak out the follow through, but SK Rossi not going to get fooled. After the opening pick, 5v3, they have the advantage here, Asurai, and that's a great find here from Hellranger to catch Rafina off of the flank. Esperanza doing the same on the Kappa, and now it's all down to Zinion for long, and so for Global, this is a bit more controlled, and I like it. And it's going to be Zumba, but that spike is going down nonetheless. Okay, Afina here from heaven is going to oh get my. a great shot on the Golu. Who had no idea that he was there. Lightning fast, and that is how he is dealt with. Afina, he still has a great position here. Can continue to apply pressure from that heaven position. Kappa, they know where he is as of the moment, but Hellring has a great flank here, Asurai. I'm not sure if you're expecting this from M4Q. This is going to be big. They drop down. It's the shoot to hell as everybody is getting... Dem uh, demoralized, but he might just bite off more than he can chew. Dash has been burned, so he cannot get an easy escape. And he's gonna be heftily punished here by 5k, isolated out of the fight. And they bring it to a 5v4 here right now, trying to split the C site. But good control on the garage for the meantime here. Coming in from Epina on that cypher, zoomed on the peak, but he's too wide. Kappa will take him on down, and Esperanza will get the trade. That's all right. Esperanza's 33 HP, but he's having a lot of time anchoring the back of the site. Skills finally finds a pick, he's just one off. Across the wall, luckily not shot down by Bunny. It's two versus two, 43 seconds on the clock. He's fully blinded, fully engaged by five for Hell Ranger. He does have, yeah, there you go, the fault line as well as, uh, I believe, an aftershock. So maybe he can use it to try to go for a clutch. No, nope. see, he's uh, he's on a secret mission from outer space. And, oh, no, never mind. He's been grounded. Hell Ranger has to whip out his weapon quite quickly here. He's making a lot of noise. Spike is still not being escorted through here. Members of Global, is he really going to bring this all the way there when there's already two onto the site itself? Will it try to use the numbers that they have remaining? But we'll see if her Q should have this round regardless. It should be. I mean, it is a 4v2, but skills living up to his name that just have major consequences as we see there. Like SK Rossi, as Bunny gets on C long, but you can see again, Global Esports, they love to go side of Global to be able to counteract that and maybe outfish him if it ever comes to pass. Bunny caught out here in the open, does not have a dash, will use a Cloudburst to smoke to be able to back off away safely. It's barely in time. Cosmic Divide, you're going to try and dip in, play it close. He's got his blades to try and slice and dice, and Hell Ranger will get that opening kill on Speranza. Efina finding one double with the right click here on Bunny. Kappa able to find one Ten and the trade off left. as well. 2v3, they do not have the man <laughs> advantage. Athena trapped, they don't know that he's actually right here. Flash coming on in, but Kappa and Golo open up the site. It's a 1v2, he's trapped on site. Hell and 5k waiting and waiting, but Golo's gonna find him, the ring goes to him. And using anything to take the sites in, even if there is going to be some form of rotations from uh, from F4Q, it might not be enough. Well, we'll see. Global Esports are, uh, you know, masters of the firefight rather than utilities and they're going to be using that to take in onto this a site these smokes going to cover them up that's going to allow them to at least force this post plant and f for a q in a four versus four they're gonna have to try to retake his bunny looks on top of heaven to try to go for the snipe and oh Athena, yeah he's already on the back of it looking for the flank skills here inside hell but he's not able to buy his way out of it Athena's is going to get that kill as you talked about that flying coming in huge for the meantime hell ranger though finding a double that's insane from him zunba he's going to find the kill but a quick great off from golo here the opposing astra it's on Athena. he's very low but he finds the head but hell ranger not have the lockdown which i think is pretty crucial but they do have yep kappa's uh, ultimate if they need it as the shock darts come through golu is in danger of being knocked if he is not able to get out of his position 
He's so lucky that Esperanza didn't chuck another oh, no. shot dart out his way, but here comes the concussion. They're both trapped. He doesn't even see him. He does, but he whiffs the shot up close and personal, but could not connect it. Esperanza winning it somehow. He had his back turned, but still shaved off a bit at the top. And now Kappa, he's on the side, but so much for Connison's gain. But Hellrage is going to land the shot. Anyway, Sunbound on the whiff. SK Rossi in the trade. It's a complete chaos. The Floria Frags are going in the way of Global for the meantime, but it's a QB2 up above, and he's going to land it down below in a bunny. It's all in Avina here in a 1v2 right now. He's got full HP. He's got that spy camera to be able to get that information. If he can isolate the fight, but no, he cannot. Shot here, so to speak. Now, F4Q, they had a lot of, uh, uh, you know, really good plays. Now in the second pistol, they're going to be trying to go for the crossfire. And Golu, fine. after that comeback here coming on that first half, they deserve it. They know where he is, and they're looking to try and double swing this. But he goes for the single peek, and that's it. As he immediately tries to challenge with the operator. He has the right angle, but the timing as well as the peak when you recuperate, they're going to try to go straight onto the A-side before SK Rossi can go in with the rest of his team. Esperanza opens up. That's going to be the one for one in terms of the trade. Huge flash onto Kappa. That opens oh. stuff up in F4Q. They turn this into a advantageous position. Three versus two. They push it red, try and play a bit, a bit more, I guess, discipline, which... Well, but also got to take note in terms of the weaponries. G okay, just a three. Okay. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, on that anti flank. They're going for this A site, though. And SK Rossi has a great position here. He finds that one kill now on Infina. Zumba will punish him, not letting him get anything more. Golo dancing in between this. Then on the peak, 5Q just walked into his sights, walking into the trap. He has no worries in the world. He doesn't care. He's going to still hold it. He's super lucky that 5K did not land that. Uh, regardless of what happens. And SK Rossi seems like he's waking up quite. Oh. Uh, on a good note this day, this fine Thursday, SK Rossi again, he's not caring anymore. Doesn't want to reload the position on Sewer. And let's see if f can actually try to get around this. But SK Rossi, oh, left. black, four kills. He's looking for that ace. Give it to him. Gobble it up. And that's going to be it. Operators off. Garage control here is firmly in the hands of Global as the only kind of left side here of, of uh, F4Q is what they're really trying to take on the C side. Exactly Fina, a great catch off towards mid on Golu. Well, Fina, oh, wow. He actually got away from that, even though skills was already looking to go for that refrag. SK Rossi is just chasing them down. He's spotting them out. That's going to be the no-scope, but it's not going to hit. There is going to be that percentage where it does not matter, but skills out of nowhere to 3K. Athena, last person to remain. Where is he going to be coming from? All the way out into C long. There's the stuff. Falls off hard, and SK Rossi is schooling him with this what? one through the smoke. That was a good lineup. Bunny now charging in, hoping to get that reset. He does. Flies right back up. SK Rossi! Oh my, oh my goodness! The fly swatter! He's looking for another one, but Zumba catches him off guard. Esperanza tries to catch it off all the way through a lock for Q. We'll be playing that post plan in Global Esports. Lead down to just a, what, three rounds if they get this one. 8 to 11 potentially. That's the you can test. And he's going to try his luck here, maybe towards the CT entrance. Able Great position here. And the fact that uh, Golu Lightning Fast there is under window, but still did not see the cross on Afina is huge. And Afina is going to punish him, picking over that A site. They're going to give it up, Kappa. He knows he cannot solo hold that as a Sova. Here comes the Hunter's Fury, though. He tags him up. He's able to get the kill as well on the 5K. And even looking for more. But Zunba. Is gonna get that trade off on the skills, not a direct one, but a trade nonetheless. And a 3v3 on the site. It's Hellranger popping into Hell, and Bunny's gonna jump away from this. 1v2. They brought it within reaching distance. Kappa, he's all the last one left remaining here for the side of Global. He's trying to make sense out of this world. He's put in, getting the kill on the Bunny, but Zunba will confirm the back to the side. There's still openings on the C link, so he's gotta be careful. He immediately backs away, realizes that he can't dip in too much because losing Bunny is gonna be a huge blow to the post plant that is. F4Q. No big ultimates here for Global, but it's going to be a 5 versus 5. They do have a couple of more smokes, but it's all about the firefights now. They're going to have to try to do this, because if they try to go for the Pro Zone fake defuse, there's just way too many pop shots that could be thrown their direction. But they're still doing it. Okay. Oh, they're sticking it. Gravity well here, and that shock card's going to force him off of it. Bunny able to get the kill while spamming that spike. Then he's going to line them up. Dunda finding a double, but it's not enough Global. True. True, true, true. Or, um, 
You know those uh, hot stones that you put inside like lunch boxes to heat up the food or something? With I can't hold down that site by myself as a Sova once more, and they will get the plant. 5v5, a full rate take to come on here, as a right. They've got way. lots of utility, and this is very scary right now because Global have all their ults to really apply here. And as soon as they push, you can expect maybe a rolling thunder. Oh no, exactly they could stick this plant far, far removed from the situation. And even with the neural theft, he's sticking what? it. He's sticking it. The divide is perfect. He can potentially touch it here right now, but the pull's gonna pull him away. And he cannot stick it any longer. But here comes the push, able to get the clutch. Shock and awe, run and gun style with the flashes supplementing that has allowed to make this happen. But it really depends if they can read and match the pace of global esports. That's gonna be a bit of that spike is still at long. And Kappa here. No jokes to be made because he's got to hold down the site. The rest of his teammates are inside Hookah. 5k though, opening that up with a single kill toward him from the side of Global. They got two players, both controllers, Golu and Skills now coming up behind them. Will they expect this to come from short? I'm sure at some point they will, but will they realize that it is coming right here, right now, coming from this uh, retake on Global right now? 3v4, I think this is doable for Global. They need to isolate the fight though, and that is exactly what they do on Zunba. They have no flashes to come out from this uh, smoke with a bit of shock and awe. So it's all about... Oh, wait, no, they do have a Fina. Never mind, that's going to be the pop shot, but it's not going to be that much possible. Still, skills come through. Kappa's going to try to go to go in onto U-Haul. One flash from a Fina is going to be good. Skills out in the open. This is going to get risky if he's not careful. There's like five people already right in front of him. Pops out some of the uh, utilities that he does have, but they still were escorted into U-Haul itself. I'm That's going to be a bit of a fight, him. but he is holding at the back of the side. He knows that he can just wait onto his teammates because they can't really plant the spike down. Not having a Sage as he try to maybe take control. If you don't get any kills towards defenders, it's going to be a very difficult task for FRQ to even... Holding onto that lamps, that Bucky can be very dangerous up close and steal those skills, so they have to be very wary of that as well. SK Rossi has an opportunity here to stop the defuse, the plant rather, and that he does deny. But he's gone out now in the open, 5k, finding that kill. It's down to a 2v1. They know where SK Rossi is here in pocket, right? They have left. to assume that, and they're going to go for a plant towards CT, but it is not safe. He goes for it, gets the defuse, actually gets a denial, and gets a triple kill. SK Rossi, diff is alive, and Global take their first round. Because that was their bonus, technically, they're still going to have all the weapons that they would want. SK Rossi, though, he wants to go for this duel. Bunny just not really expecting it. The the shock and awe. Yeah, I know I know a lot of people that like take showers like after a day and like I got I just feel yeah. hella sticky. We live in the Philippines. It's hella hot here. Anyways, Point society. Uh, skills though. Let's see if he can clean up after showers. There's like three right in front of him. That is gonna be incredibly ballsy. But they were expecting it to come Bucks through. Down. Zumba pushes through the back. SK Rossi's looking to hunt, but there is just a weird game of whack-a-mole through this Viper spit. As the dust settles, though, that's going to leave us into two versus two. Oh, that is going to be a huge aftershock. Zumba still survives a triple. How does he do this? Okay, Ranger. Three bullets and a dream has to go for the reload. Double smokes, couple of flashes, and he... Man, this is probably the most unlucky guy ever. Popping, hoping to maybe get a takedown through these utilities. And he does have some time to maybe take a breath, hoping that as it clears up, he can try to isolate a couple of these encounters. A flash onto bench, spots one. That's going to be all. What isn't a wash at the moment here, at the very least, is a series. You know, FRQ taking this lead and potentially take the round, but. 5k has been, uh, I guess, found out, and he still wins a lot of hookah control, but the B long, the Guardians, is what they're going to be storming at. The fight coming from Octagon is going to be brought here to Golo. He's going to be going down skills, only finding one, and Afina will get that trade immediately. Now 4v2, Afina. This is going to be saving this weapon into the next one. Quite expensive to think about it. The goal is here. Here comes the Cosmic Divide, and in the Hunter's Fury, he's able to find his way through. Slipping here, Bunny will help at least the plant with that Cloud Burst. The Aftershock coming in a bit late to try and deny it, but it will force him off of the angle. Now, the Cosmic Divide will give him a bit of a staging ground to try and go for this retake by Global. Do they have the weapons to make it happen? They have the Operator in the hands of SK Rossi. They got some ultimates to work with, but that's all she wrote. Hell Ranger going down, Kappa getting a kill, and SK Rossi finding Bunny. Oh, this is going to be great. Snakebite is there to kind of keep people at bat at bay. But, oh no, this is going to be such delay tactic. Skill, still one behind him. 5k has an angle, and he's going to be clearing things up. SK Rossi, tough tails and run. Besides that, yeah, even though that was a glorious fight, because they just did not have that much utility, that much weaponry to work with, 
I'll you to go straight going on to B, but SK Rossi, that's going to oh. be the, the game. Trying to serve this round, especially with the 30 seconds, actually even less so, left here by F4Q in the round to try and get this one going. And on that peak off, Esperanza just punishes Golo. They're rotating towards that B site and skills. It might just follow up after them, but SK Rossi has a good position here. Cannot land a second follow-up shot this time. Will not get the third as well. Bunny punishing him for that whiff. And they've taken control of the side. Just barely enough time to get the plant off. But that rolling thunder will stop it. Do they have enough time? I'm not too sure about this. No, they don't. Actually, no, yes, they do. Round slipping away. You can see just how important utility is. And while Hellranger might not necessarily have too many kills on the board, he's had a lot of high impact utility here to help get them these rounds. But Esperanza, if he gets a kill, quickly traded off by skills here in the showers of one for one trade. And Hellranger finally gets something going for him. Athena able to get the kill. He's on FRQ again for another late round push. Ooh, skills might actually have a good position here. The timing is going to be real. He spots out Bunny. That's a huge takedown already. The top fragger, and he's not done at all. Athena, last person to remain, 30 HP. Very well bangable. They take these splits decision makes that really sets the tone for them. That, that uh, flash and dash play is so disgusting. And skills, not really. Affects it, especially with like three people in showers, but... He gets away with it, so it's a bit of a consolation, even though he's taking out very low. Golu, this Ultra Mim is going to be huge, and it's about to drop in integrity, and he dressed, I think he drops it himself to try and make it a bit earlier. Esperanza catching him off guard, and that is a risk you run when you play outside of your own pit. And right now, he's found him an opening here, but this elbow position coming from SK Rossi could be huge. He's pulled out the blades. He's looking to try and cut them up, but he cannot land those shots. The blade's not connecting. He has the operator in his hands, but... Up close, what can he do with it? Here comes right now the stun. We'll congest him, but the plan should go down. And goal is just not having a good day at all. There still is that numbers advantage. Global's gonna give you to use this to pinch in onto the site. They know one is already in hookah. One is gonna be stuck somewhere onto the site itself. That was the planter, and that is a clean retake for Global. They will kind of be able to get some sort of a mix by, maybe drop, but not to the fullest extent that they might want in the armor and that you don't really see that many aggressive operator players, even in like other regions, right? I, pretty, I think the only one that really comes out to mind has got to be like Wardell or something. But aside from that, I don't even know who else like we have in Southeast Asia that is as aggressive in op like SK Rossi. I mean, technically he's not from Southeast Asia, he's from uh, BCC, but still, right? The thought holds out. It's going to be an amazing example. Yeah. Oh, spike down okay. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. He's trying to plant down the spike, but Pop shots from bats will keep him a little bit uh, aware and cautious. Two versus five, though, and Bunny, he's somewhere near to help out his teammate, but yeah, just, they just don't have the position for it, and they get tagged down lower and lower, and they have phantoms. So unless they can hit, like, ridiculous close-range headshots, this is a losing battle. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. What was that? He's just silent now. I thought it was a bit uh, misguided to use the ult here because, I mean, it's already a 2v4 and there it goes, ult drops. With me now, but at least they still do have the Seekers. Oh my Again. gosh, how does the... He's getting away with murder, man. Again. Oh, okay, he finally gets shut down. The chase was real, no dash to escape. But the damage is done, black and blue. That's going to leave us into the three versus four. Immediately, Esperanza pops out the ultimate, so maybe his teammates can get escorted. They throw out that the Hunter's Fury doesn't tag anyone. And this is not looking well for him. As soon as they walk on in, Golo is a great spot, but the good concuss. Perfect play coming there from Zunba to punish him on that corner inside the cubby position. And now they get the plant. Suddenly, this is doable in a 3v3. That early cosmic divide was actually from skills to maybe dissuade f4q from pushing it onto the b side but what it just did was give f4q some vision blocking to leave them into a good position to make uh to make a push happen kappa is going to be pushing in thinking that maybe everybody's going to be onto the side nice little crouch there from esperanza but hell ranger has came in come in to play skills down to eight and that is also block out the vision now of global esports but it seems like they still want to make this into a push happen in 
Zumba's been knocked away. Skirasu waiting through the push, and he has to make this happen. Thankfully enough, he still was not knocked out. Even though he does lose the bullets, Bunny's looking to get a shutdown as well. They double back right up. That's going to be the stun, or flash to come out, excuse me, as Bunny as well as Esperanza will have to try to work their magic duo on the side to tap onto the spike just to make maybe make uh global esports peek out and challenge but there was no one actually there it's gonna be the fight in but he's finding a couple of kills and they're starting to work their magic but it's only esperanza to the left and skill they have a great hold on the speed side look at this the stun though is gonna be huge and that dash will keep him at bay and keep him in the corner it's gonna have to go big into this one the pop shot let's see if the uh the I was about to say the nerf on the sky was going to be felt, and it kind of did. Fina didn't have that much time to react. He needed to be crispy with his aim. Not really going to happen, and SK Rossi's down to 10, but F4Q, their whole team is down to 3. And it's all about Esperanza being at the back of the site. He does have 5k now with him. He's going to be setting up the recon dart. There's the stun. He's not going to have any time to retaliate whatsoever, but they're starting to go in, and we'll see how they react to this. Okay, here on the execute right now, 5k finding a double on for him. It's all on Azunba now. Plant will go down, he's got the judge. Once again, the jury's still out on that. Not sure if this is going to be enough for him, while SK Rossi and Hellranger are quite tagged up. If they're playing these long-range angles, that might just be a moot weapon, but he picks up the Phantom, and now this is suddenly doable. Two players low, or at least tagged up here from the side of Global Esports. Golu, the only one left at full HP, and uh, he could be playing for lineup, but all the way here now in Hook, and this is still going to be quite difficult for him. To try and go up, oh, not finding the angle to get that defuse to maybe try and stick it. The stun's going to be huge, able to only get the kill, could have potentially gotten the follow-up on the... He still has an angle, oh, this is going to be huge, and he does not miss. He still has a dash if ever he needs to, but does he really? As he gets away from that one, down to 33. A couple of the ultimates have been activated. Athena has activated his own. Hell Ranger will be using that Rolling Thunder to open up the site. That's going to be all up into 5k to maybe clear it back out. And SK Rossi and Golu doing the best that they can, and it is working. Still, Esperanza is breathing, surviving at the center stage. He needs to get knocked out because Spike has yet to get planted down. Bunny's going to be... Well, even if he does get overwhelmed a bit there, he still oh, has huge. his ultimate to use. That is going to be huge, and that is even better. Bunny, where is he finding these now? Has he actually woken up? Oh, there it is, the blades. He's not messing about. He's going to be looking to maybe go for a challenge here. Everything is being thrown out by Global. They're really investing into this round. They want to be able to reach that 10 with Esperanza and the rest of F4Q. They're denying... And it's still to get put in. Oh. Golu's trying to maybe go for the bait, but off cam kills saying otherwise. F4Q are still in the driver's seat about this one, and these ultimates are about to expire. Hell Ranger out oh. in the open. He's outmanned, outnumbered, and that's gonna be surely when there's actually people right near him that he can try to take down with these angels. Okay. That's something that they've been very proficient at, to be fair. FRQ, they got the lead right now, and that's something you're looking to Spike make even bigger. A. Zunba and Esperanza here off of the kills, going two in their way for F4Q. Go inside that smoke. Bonnie and Zumba just completely shut down any notions of global. Will make it happen on a game number three? To be fair, they were able to win that best of three up against Damwon Kia two to one fashion. So even against F4Q, that's still going to be a possibility here. The stun actually whips onto SK Rossi, leaving him open onto the back of the side. But there's two there. Skill follows up. He needs to come big into this one. Yes, he does. That's going to be another one to follow through. The Spectre not finding Smart. Going to have to upgrade quickly. Down to six bullets. And that's going to be a gobble up for the Seekers. It's Golu and Skills. Not the most explosive of players. They've been consistent. But they need to do more. Especially now that the Spike has yet to be planted down. They do have time. They would want to make the noise happen. And that snake bite will at least keep it a little bit free. A little bit open. As Bunny and the rest of his squad is waiting for that Spike opening. Planted. As the snake bite dissipates, that's when explosion is going to be coming in. And what's the setup for Global going to be? Just a bit here. Skills. If he gets a pick, then maybe he could use his Cosmic Divide as that ultimate should be up online. But he's going to have to find that in, uh, initial pick off first. Flash is perfect and he gets it One through the flash, remaining. through the smoke, completely blinding. Unknown, he gets a kill anyway. Zumba finding one. Bunny getting the kill. And he'd be going to split here, Asurai. 
And they got three rounds to come back into here, Global, but their economy is not in the best spot right now. Oh yeah, it's, it's an absolute shambles. They bought complete disarray for the rest of Global Esports. Now, thankfully, they do have um, a couple of utilities that they can use. They're trying to clear out U-Haul. They're trying to at least use the numbers in force. That's going to be a nice little flash onto Bunny. He's going to be safe. The one way to come through. Oh. And he still gets a shot through it. Bunny is just getting oh, no. all of these. And this is just nails into the coffin for Global Esports, leaving it again onto Skills and Golu. And this is a bit of a deja vu here, Black. Oh, this is not good. The smokes are about to dissipate. And Golu is just on a thin, very, very well bangable line before he goes and gets dropped down. Skills is going to go for the sub. Spots out one, but there's one right behind, this one right in front, and that... They might not be pulling out the raise as uh, Paper Thin would have really wanted them to do. Asher wasn't the breach. It actually was on this Astro where he was the clutch artist. Now, I believe uh, it was Paper Thin that kind of coined the term wave dashing. Even though this is not a fighting game, we will be seeing something of that <laughs> like sort. That. And it is going to be just that One bunny peeks remains. out at the perfect time, spotting him out, out in the open. And Hell Ranger, this seems familiar. He doesn't have any more rifles. He's out exposed. Spotted. 5k, all he really has to do is flush him out. And SK Rossi, realizing this, backs away as a snake bite comes through. Okay, nicely done here from F4Q to regain control of that Rams. I like how they address the problem at hand, but Global, they still got an opportunity here. They are on the site, the spike is planted down, and if they can maybe get the pick off here, especially on the bunny who has been raining havoc in that past map, then they can do something. Skills, great shot by him to find the beat, and Kappa does the same. Golu, a great kill, and suddenly Global Esports have taken the lead in this round. They have the advantage 2v4 right now. Contest yeah, coming on here, Esperanza trapped in the site, and that's a clean, clean, clean up crew here. Uh, onto lower mid, and he could actually have the right understanding Spike of a shot, mid. of a takedown, and he does. And that's Kappa. More importantly, Spike spotted. Oh, oh, that is big. Nasty shot there from 5k, but doesn't last for too long as Golu immediately on the trade. Zun, but that's a huge pick off for him to find Golu, who already was low towards that ramps. And the only position that they got here right now is this mid. They're trying to crawl up into it. Maybe could take the vents, but even at that, there is a tripwire at both vents and mail. So it's going to be... Uh, quite an undertaking for them to really rush their way into either side. Hell Ranger was tagged up and I'm too sure if he's going to be able to save this. Zumba, I think, has a read on him. And he does. Especially on split, right? When you're on the defending side. Oh. And when he hits shots like that, I tend to just, you know, lose my, my credibility and never mind. Not, not necessarily. I do think that was kind of an <laughs> error there for him to actually go for the peak. And Fina does get that kill here on a skill. Skills, he had the showstopper, but did not really find much Drop. value out of it. Rolling Thunder doing most of the job, and Esperanza is able to equalize things up. Now, I guess your point, Asari, was like, on the attacking side, they're really not going to peak you, especially if they know there is an op. And so why, why bother, right? Like, you're not going to get those peaks early on if there's another op. But in that case, well, it was Bunny who peaked him, so it just turned into a moot point. And now... It's a retake. Full 3v3 retake from both teams. Skill playing the close distance. Supplementing his fight with the flashes, oh. but these uh, little bit of peeks out, not really the most effective. And I just wanted to point out, yeah, Hellranger, he went the, the distance. He went for the effort of actually picking up the operator. Perhaps. Yeah, Sounds like a the bag. <laughs> oh my god! Kyo's bunny! Oh my goodness! He really wants to force the issue, oh. but finds nothing. Does he know? That's gonna Dead. be huge. So that nade is gonna take down 5k, but Esperanza will not let go of B Heaven. He still has a couple left. of bullets left into the chamber. Hell Ranger finally finds that pickoff. A little bit tad bit expensive, but in terms of map control, Global Esports have yet to really get, gain anything. And Zumba, yeah, he's gonna. Okay, they're starting to falter here. They're make, making a lot of mistakes, and it's all down left to cop a bunny. Make sure that he can maybe hold on true. But those tripwires are just going to give a nice little clear picture, clear vision for FRQ where the rest of this Indian team is going to be coming from. Bunny, he's going to be playing the fly swatter, looking up above with the operator. And as they drop down, he's just going to be riling and shooting it back up. A little bit interesting. He was picking up onto screens there. He spot out the Fina, but he's going to be in a shooting range with Esperanza, leaving only Hell Ranger to remain. He's going to have to reload. He's going to have to plan. And this doesn't leave him much to try to do. He can maybe set up some stars. Never mind. Doesn't have anything. And he goes again for the operator. All right. Let's see if he can hit some shots, and he will not. 
First victim dashes right back away, respects, and oh, they're gonna have waterfall into this one. Athena, he has a perfect angle to make this work. One for one trade. Skills trying to go through the spawn. That's the stun to come through. The follow up onto Bunny could be real, and he's still holding on. Esperanza comes in for that retaliation, and this has just gone danger, is pulling the trigger straight into that. But does he know that Zumba is waiting for his cross? SK Ross is gonna be able to open back up, call him back in. Oh, this is perfect. They actually might be able to make this happen if SK Ross oh. can hit the right click, maybe again with the classic. Yes, 30 seconds. And they can run right left. into the site. Zumba almost cut off the rotation to B, but SK Rossi opens it up. What a beast Spike for Global. Planted. And now we go for the two versus one. Zumba 1v2 here right now. On the operator, his old shenanigans. He sees the leg. Could have actually gone straight for a collateral. And again, he's getting away with murder because of the dashes that he has. Where did that cypher come from? sees something going for them in the round and bunny has an idea and he lands a shot he and it's not even a hard shot he knew where he was sk rossi just walking into his sights and he's not looking too well right now for global they lose this round they're gonna be in a bad economic spot but hell rangers has something to say about that getting that kill on esperanza and make left. this happen spike is on hell ranger he's gonna have to run all the way to the site but he's looking to potentially save it yeah this is a saved round they're not gonna want to go for this at this point in global they do concede the round six to three. Now F4Q go up and they save the off at the very least. For really has changed the dynamic of F4Q where teams could just have no threat from Bunny's long range fights, exactly but now there is. A little bit confusing as to how what happened there, but I feel like Bunny just kind of uh, bumped his head on some kind of ceiling and got followed up by skills. If Ina's going to be in the back of the site, then it's not really going to matter now, is it? Ra oh, SK Rossi, he's picked up Bunny's operator, and he's not going to miss a beat to take that warm little shot and keep a pop-off. Goes for the flick, not really going to matter. Second one not going to connect as well. The center to get revived by the nurse. And Zumba here. Oh, will not spot out Hell Ranger, who was already lurking right behind him. We feel a little bit worse for. Oh, oh wait! Oh. No, he spotted. He spotted it. But oh. the flash. Still, what? Hell Ranger finds it. That was a little bit confusing, but still, the find ends well as the creation to, or not sorry, excuse, creation, but rather the opening is going to be merited. Is not looking too good for Global Esports as these flanks from F4Q is just working oh exceedingly well for them. SK Rossi though. It's finally gonna get shut down, not by the flanking bunny, but rather Esperanza, who was lurking somewhere on the high heavens. Spike has been planted down. Golu's gonna be in that perfect angle spot, and Bunny, he's in a two versus one. He can pick up a weapon if he wants, but there is a lot of utility still remaining here for Global Esports. That was so worse for wear, but Global Esports still make it happen. Bunny's gonna be dashing right in the right click. Will Viper's pit. Pulled yeah, out on a main and that forces Global to try and aggress towards his B site on his push. Zunba holding it down with a Guardian, keeping him safe. And Esperanza gets a double off of the line. And now the spike has been dropped. This is crucial right now and deadly. This is disastrous Ooh. for Global. Disastrous. I think that's a very, very ferocious duel against Athena here. If he's not careful, he's going to be caught off. Bunny, let's see if that aftershock will connect through the confusions of the smoke. But here comes Global Esports coming through. And no, they weren't able to clear Athena. So if, if Sponsor, even if he drops down, Athena's timing is going to be crucial here. They need to pick it back up because he's just about to fall down and rain from above. Shots one, oh. two, three. And that is just crumbling down horribly for Global Esports. If they can't really get the picks that they need at the very start, it seems to crumble down ever so slightly. We'll see if uh, if SK Rossi... Nine. The opening pick from Global is the lifeline to work with. Skills here. He's got that room, but you're aggressive, but now it's just denied. He's playing a very dangerous game, and he's heftily punished for it. Athena opening things up, and F4Q, they've retrieved the Phantom there, giving it to Bunny. Global, it's a 4v4 right now. They have a chance before this retake. And on this late lurk, Golu's going to find that pick, and that was huge for them. He needed to control that A main position, and that he does, making sure the sewers and the rest oh is clear. Life. And they do have control. All of the remaining members of F4Q here, Asari, inside the site, and... They're going to be trapped between this rock and hard place as Global are making their entry. Kappa goes down. Bunny just going insane. Absolutely huge, devastating kills here for f 4 Oh, well. SK Rossi, he's also a devastating player himself. Oh, excuse me. 
5k? Oh, goodness me, goodness gracious, and Golu clutches the round so, 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 so close. Pass to get that mid control. Sometimes you just want to make sure that you do have that necessary tool. SK Rossi whips out his blades. Yep, that's going to be able to take a shutdown onto 5k. Kappa has been spotted, but he can at least delay the push with the flashes that he does have. But F uh, Bunny, he's going to try to maybe make that happen as well. These whiffs on the shot immediately punished by Global Esports. And slowly but surely, oh. break the dog maybe? Someone's He's very in. close to him. Oh, oh my god! He gets the kill. Open, but not checking that right side corner behind the mid box. And Afina's gonna get the kill, but the quick trade off here coming from Golu on that opposing oh. Cypher. 4v3 right now. SK Rossi looking to try and dip into this B main fight. That Cypher will get the neural theft for information. 5Q does not care. He does not mind. He's going to push this out in the open. He wins that dropping early. And now here comes the ultimate. Now the Viper spit from 5Q could be huge here right now. Putting down that smoke. Here comes that well out as well. That snake bite to try and force him to uh, not really push. But Air Ranger going in and out. The post plant shall come in as a right. That starts a little bit too late. If he tries to maybe concuss or suck, that's actually to the detriment of Global Esports. Yep, that's why you see it immediately get refunded by Hell Ranger. He knows it's not going to be a viable start to actually put through. He probably would want it to be at the back of the side. Golu is going to be clearing up the heavens here just to check out the nooks and crannies that his teammates will not be able to clear back out. But the timing as well as where he wanted to check it, not really where it was. And Zunba clears that one up. Kappa and Hell Ranger, they're gonna have to fight tooth and nail for this. Both of their opponents are inside the smokes, but again, even though the vision be blocked, there's not really enough time. Global Esports loses that, open up the Hey Heaven side. But what this really does is that it just gives so much freedom for FRQ to make a lot of noise, whether left or right. Now, SK Rossi back onto the operator once again, and as Spikey goes for the slow peak, gets traded down so quickly. Ooh, that's gonna be a big one, as three people have gone in onto the fight against Golu. That's gonna be SK Rossi to get another pick out. Afina's onto the side itself. He only has the classic, but that's what he needs to. Fina, oh, nice. Skills, who is just right in front of him. Skills, though, still has a couple of abilities that he wants to utilize, but Global Esports, they're not going to waste any time whatsoever. They pull the trigger on that Rolling Thunder, and they're rolling, steaming through the rest of the Air for, uh, FRQ squads. And as the dust settles, Fina, Speranza, taking names, taking hearts, and breaking them at the same time. That is just terrible. Bunny and Zumba to remain, and they're caught stuck somewhere in the middle. And can they bring Player this standing. back? Can oh, they turn it around? Notoriously been super good at, but those were previous times. It's so structured, aside from F4Q. Kill. And they get them, so it's definitely doable. We are not out of the realm of possibility to go into overtime. Golo here in the corner on screens, but he's going to be watching from the sidelines as he's been taken down off the bench right now. Kappa not able to get a single kill as F4Q gets that. And looking pretty good so far here, Asurai. They've separated the pack. They're not going to know the judge is right onto the right of them. And that's going to be, well, very low onto the jet, leaving Hell Ranger to clutch. This uh, feels like a... This feels like a little bit of deja vu. It's going to be dropping down. The flash will come through. Hell Ranger is in a much safer spot than he does. Can he isolate the fight? Can he take the picks that he needs to win that pop shot onto the back of board? Oh, he's going to be charging in here. He doesn't know that Bunny is full HP with that head. Actually split this, go through the vent, and maybe overrun that A side that is being held. And Afina finds a huge kill here. And that neural theft is actually going to get him caught off guard. Skills, great push from him to equalize the game. Oh, SK Rossi is going to have to exit out. Skills could go for the pinch, but he gets unpinched himself by Zunba. And F4Q, they've all but abandoned any form of control here. They're just rushing right in. It worked. Yes, there is a shutdown onto Fina because he didn't spot his opponent somewhere back on board. Now, at the cusp of elimination, go big or go home. SK Rossi not landing a shot. That is crucial. That is insanely bad right now for them to get that rotate on in. But F4Q, they're looking to pound on the site right now. Just giving away his position after his aftershock. Everybody's going to look down below. And Bunny, all he really needs is to beat it down. And he will. Hell Ranger. Oh, man. This guy, he clutches. But he has to go above and beyond for it. 
There's going to be one right in front, and that's not going to happen in black. Time that gives him one uh, new timeout that they can pull. Mail here is going to be Concaster not checking him. Actually, no, they do, but still he wins that fight. SK Rossi finding a double kill. What an amazing play for a man. A quick push here coming from the side of Global Esports. And he is looking to open this up even more. Holy cow. SK Rossi just set them potentially into the lead. Venus holding true here. That smoke separating him from the rest of the squad. Not nearly enough as safe as he thought it would be. And Zunba. Oh, he's going to be sneaking back up, but oh yeah, they're clearing sides right now. They're trying to check in, and he's going to get spotted. That cloud burst giving him some solace, but also separating him from the rest. And Golu not going to miss a beat, and we're one. I'd recommend the FRQ. They might just be signing themselves off to a premature death. Oh, that's going to be a fake smoke. Golu in skills. They got theirs. And this is back to the three versus four. Spike, Spike has been dropped money. Got to pick it right back up. But there is no form of map control whatsoever for FRQ. So they need to struggle. They need to push for this. But Bunny, Spike he's down. lost his mind. He's dashed right in into the embracing arms of Skills. And it's all down to 5k in the field. They're going to be pushing in here, Pinch. Okay, Skills is there. But only 5k to remain. He knows that one is up hell positioning. But everybody is hounding him in. And SK Rossi already at his position. And that's going to be... Oh my god! Oh no! Not yet! Not yet! Not yet! He's got the okay. ultimate! He's got the ultimate. He's going to be swimming inside of this one, black and blue. And all they really have to do is come together, but they're not. What are you doing, Hell Ranger? One versus one, 5K. He still has it in him, and he's passed oh out to Hell Ranger as he drops. Reported now by Athena. This just could be the double duo on the A side that could cause some chaos. Perfect flash. He's in the corner. He has some idea that he's here, and he will be flushed out of it. 5K finding a kill. Athena holding down the line. This is huge right now for FRQ. It's gonna be pop shots through the smoke and it's working and 5k man of the hour from the last round dips into the kill. Spike has yet to get planted. Speranza thought that he can thought, excuse me, that he could maybe make that happen, but not really. And skills left to fend off for himself. Two versus one. Both of them straight up onto screen. He's not looking to the right, but there is a beautiful crossfire here, but it doesn't matter because now he but can he guess where his opponent will be coming from? At this point, it's a very real possibility that he pulls the ultimate out as soon as he hears contact. Here it now is a showstopper to end this shebang. He holds on to it. Actually kind of faking it out. We're gonna fire it towards that hell position, but not landing. It gives him away. And now holding it down here, Zumba gets the- See, there's a little bit. Now I'm back. We're good, we're good. Hell Ranger is in a spot once again. He's down to 14, unfortunately. That's gonna be funny. Clear up the rest of the site. Making sure that nobody's got the back of the board and he's using the smokes to clear on everything. Cap a one first. Gonna give him too much. The spike will go down. Planted here. Having some issues, but SK Rossi and they just completely clean up house here, Global. They can stick the defuse. There isn't much that FRQ can do. He finds a kill, Zumba, that will be stuck. We're going to a second overtime here as Global make the retake happen. There was very use some of their utilities to kind of deny that post plant, but it seems like it's gonna be some sort of deja vu. You know, inspiration plays from Global Esports as they try to make use of what FRQ were trying to do. Esperanza is such a beast in anchor at the back of the side. Goal is trying to uh, try to at least close the distance and he will be able to fi fight some shots oh. in gets up into the weapon five bullets okay let's see if he can make something happen here as he drops down dead to his opponent there's gonna be a chase down from bunny dashes right away not be able to read this properly but hell ranger he's close he needs to bring out the weapon there it is and he still whiffs that is unfortunate f4q one's gonna keep him up at night a 30 bomb drop here by sk rossi but he's gonna have to go nuclear to bring them back into this one as global are down 14 to 15 it's cleaning it out as much as possible all the utilities being thrown his general direction and he's gonna try to squeeze his way in here maybe he can catch them off which he does oh that's gonna be huge bombs right back up and he will only bring Athena down to 20 but that has given enough time i believe for global esports to come in rummaging through and we are not onto this one and hell ranger still spots it oh no he knows the fan is gonna be coming in that's gonna be big! Oh, there it is! 5k! Brings it back to the 2 versus 2. Maybe he can call his teammate to go all the way back to B. Yep, there it is. Yep. And SK Rossi is still holding on to the A-side, thinking that maybe they're gonna go and double back. Not really. Ten it's all about left. that retake now. And SK Rossi, he's gotta have to run and help out Kappa right here, right now. Two controllers left here for F4. Q no! and 5k! That was a huge kill! One bullet away! from taking this game, from sending Global Esports home, the only representative of the VCC. 
in the top team from India. Will they be going home right now from the Korean Kings of, well, this LCQ as of the moment, F4Q. It's all on SK Rossi. He has an operator in hand. He's got it going. Q potentially isolate the fight. He gets that shot. Was that a no scope? We didn't even see. Zumba goes down. Might have been a quick one from him. 5K. He's biting his time. He's right around the corner. As soon as he pops.